Hello guys and now in this video we will see how we can create the Java image okay using the docker file okay so here are the some of the commands which you can see on this screen we have from run copy work dir and cmd okay so basically we will be using these commands okay and we will create one docker file we will create one python uh, sorry one java project as well and we will run that project okay and we will check the output in the docker like how we are getting so it's a very simple step to do uh, for that uh, again you will need to create one directory uh, let me just create outside this yeah here we can create it's fine java image is there okay so you have to just create one docker file fine and then we will be using this command we have is the work dir so basically we will define the directory okay fine then we have a uh, copy is there so it will basically copy the all the contents of the file or the current directory and then uh, we will see uh, we basically run one command uh, let's uh, uh, I will explain it to you let me just write sample dot uh, Java and then we will use CMD okay and we will use Java comma sample okay so we are done okay docker file is done so now let me explain you why i have written this sample.java so now i will just create one file with the name sample.java okay and i will just uh, uh, create the class with the name sample and then we will be using public static void main uh, java syntax is very lengthy r but it's fine we can do it the system dot out dot print ln and then we'll just print hello world hello world uh it's uh, it's it's working fine okay cool so now what we'll do we will go into this directory in the java image and we'll clear the screen and the simple thing which we have to do is to just compile this java file so if you are a java programmer you might be aware of that before actual running that uh, uh, like java program we need to compile first because it's uh, i think compile based programming language okay and then we get one file then we run that file then it is executed okay so we will just uh, compile this one so we will compile using java c program uh, sorry java c command and the sample.java and uh, we forgot the semicolon <laughs> it happens here okay so here you can see uh, the file has been created and we have to just give the name sample and here you can see the result is hello world it's working okay it's fine so because it's working so now what we will do i will just explain it to you so basically the run command is basically the command which is run when you create the uh, when you run the image actually okay so uh, it will just first compile and then what we are doing we are just running uh, the executing that compiled code okay using this command java and we are providing the file name as the sample okay that's it this is the only concept behind this okay fine uh, what we will do uh we will first build the file uh, build the image using this docker file how we can do it docker build and we'll provide the tag name using hyphen t flag and we will write the name is my java app okay just start at the end okay it's working it will take some time and something happened uh what we are getting uh sample dot java command not found okay fine because we have not written java c here okay that's why it was just a basic one let me again run okay now it's done finally and we will just clear the screen we will open up the cmd we will search for the docker images okay so here you will see my java app has been created now what we will do we will basically run this image we will provide the name of the container as the uh, what we can provide uh, java uh, java 1 okay fine that's fine my java app is also we can give the image name okay let's see 
Okay, so here you can see we are getting the output as the hello world. It's working fine. It means like it's working perfectly if you want to check the container list. So here you can see the using ps-a and here you can see it's created just 11 seconds ago. Okay, ex exited this one 10 seconds ago and the name is Java one. Okay, fine. Again, if you want to, uh, let's, uh, uh, we can, uh, we can do something else as well. We can try to create calculator. Uh, I will just copy the code of calculator. Why to write the whole code if you have code. <laughs> Don't take it seriously. Okay, so here what we can do. Uh, I have just copied it and we will just paste it here. Control V and the change the name as sample again I will just uh, first run this uh, app let's see how it's working Java Java C sample dot uh, sample dot Java let me again delete this one okay and let's run Java sample okay I have will choose plus I will 12 11 okay it's perfectly it's working fine Okay, so now what we will do, we will be just uh, uh, again creating image docker build hyphen t cal c dot. Okay, fine. Uh, and now what we will do, uh, we will be on terminal. Let me just clear the screen. We will check for docker images, and its cal c is there. Uh, it's created you can see 12 seconds ago we will just run this application we will do docker build uh, sorry 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 we will do uh, docker run we will provide the name one name like Kelsey app in Java okay we will provide the uh, name of the application as my Java sorry what was the name Kelsey is the name fine okay let's see so here you can see choose an operator because we are getting something else uh, uh, we will need to run this application in the background guys okay okay uh, we can try with uh, detach mode okay let me just clear the screen uh, we can do docker run hyphen it hyphen hyphen name uh, let me first check the name whether any yeah container is created okay we will delete this one uh, docker rm you can delete the container using the container id and the rm command okay let's do now it is deleted uh yeah i guess yeah it's deleted now so now what we will do we will run the uh image that calcium is so we will do docker run hyphen it hyphen hyphen name we can give it as the calci app again we will do hyphen d for in detach mode it means it will run in the background again calci is there let's hit enter let's do docker ps to check yeah so here you can see it's running in the background okay fine uh let's try to execute docker execute hyphen it and the uh container name is we have container name as a calci app calci app okay uh, okay but here we need to provide the command name actually so we can provide a java sample let's let's see what happened just okay so choose an operator so we will choose operator s plus enter the first number 12 13 and it's working perfectly fine so in this way you can just uh, execute these type of programs in the background okay so that was a very simple actually so now uh, if you will check again if you will clear the screen and again run this one and i choose suppose into first number 12 12 144 yeah cool clear the screen it means it's working fine and to stop the container you can use a uh, 
here the container is running so to stop the container you just have to provide the command docker stop and you can provide the container name and the or you can provide the uh, what you can say um, this one the name as well then it will stop it and if you will check so here no container is running okay it's perfectly fine so in this way we can do all these things so it was a very uh, good video i guess uh, but you guys will tell how it was okay so if you have any query you can ask in the comment section okay and uh, that's it for today and i'll meet you in the next video thank you for watching